<laughs> well, I used to record on tape recorders as a youngster. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing as that is what I used to do, but now there is no tape involved. There's no messy tape. No messy tape at all. Just digitally, digitalness on my phone. Um, driving home from work. Well, actually not driving home. It is November 4th. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. My phone fell. I was. I was. I just had it set down on the on the in between panel of the car between the seats. And it made a turn there, and it fell on the ground, or on the floor. And so I had to fish it out. So, no more leaving it sit while I drive. I gotta hold it in my hand. Well, this is just gonna be a fun half hour. I don't know how long it's gonna be. But it's, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have celebrity guests, and we're gonna do impressions, and all different sorts of things, all fun stuff. You know, we're going by the Sunray Shopping Center, and the S is not, the S is not lit up, so it says Unray. <laughs> if I had a camera, I would take a picture. I do have a camera, but I'm not going to take a picture. I'm drive. So we're <clears throat> driving along 94, Interstate 94. Is the radio bothering you? Well, tough, because I, I need to listen to it. I'm driving along I-94 going westward, just approaching White Bear Avenue, and we're on our way to go pick up Paula. She's is at school. She attends Minnehaha Academy University. No, not university. Let me just go over the kind of the reason why we're doing this recording. Uh, as I said at the beginning of this, I used to talk into a tape recorder, very, you know, for a very long time as a child. Now, I'm thinking 12 and 13 year old, but I did it quite a lot. I remember I still have some of the recordings even now. Of there was one that was, I believe it was September 1st, and it was right before I started high school. And I had gone in for the, the student orientation night or whatever. You go to your classes. It was a new school for me, so went to find your classes and such. And I had been talking on the tape recorder about my experience that night. And, I, you know, I was probably very nervous, but talking on the tape recorder when, you're, when you don't really have any friends... It's a good thing. You know, it's a good therapeutic thing. Also, what it does is it helps you to speak. It helps you to speak better. Um, and I don't do a whole lot of speaking. And so, even now, at the age of 49, um, it will still even benefit. Now, as a, ch as a child, talking into the tape recorder, I remember... I um, would do this little bit, you know, I had my little bits, and I did this little bit about traveling into the future because, dang, that's a bright, that car has some bright headlights, holy crap, it's super bright, <clears throat> they're ahead of me, so it's not bothering me, but uh, anyway, back to my point, I um, would do this bit about talking into the future, like right now you're hearing me in the past. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you in the future, but I'm in the past. And I would do that kind of a bit, and then I would start addressing different Scots at different time periods. So it's like another dimension. It's like the fourth dimension. And I would call out different Scots 
at different ages and different months, I would say, like, oh, hey, holy crap, this car is about to run into me. Um, so, like, when I was a kid, I didn't have to be, I wasn't. All right, I got interrupted by a phone call. That's a, why is it red? My thing is red. I don't know what that means, why it's red, but... Uh, I got interrupted by a phone call, which I did not have to worry about when I was recording in the tape recorder as a kid. And also, as I was saying, is I didn't have to be driving. I didn't have to be worrying about other drivers on the road. Um, so then, I, okay, back to my thing, I was doing this bit, saying hi to different Scots in different months in different ages, so I would say, hi Scott, when you're, when you're 24 in April, and then I would be like, <clears throat> um, if that Scott, if that, if a 20, if I was listening to that at age 24 in April, then I would be like, oh, that's cool, see, that was the whole point, but the thing is, I never, I don't think I ever, 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 ever thought about a Scott in his 30s, or, or above, you know what I'm saying, so, what I, what I never intended that I would still have those tapes that long and here I am at the age of 49 and I still have them and I could even go listen to them if I had a tape recorder or a tape player I don't know something about the word tape recorder just sounds weird it just sounds very weird tape recorder tape I'm gonna buy a tape recorder yeah, anyway so that's what I'm doing um, basically the objective and I was a kid I didn't have an objective I just talked in the tape recorder I pretended I was a, a radio DJ and I would or I would do talk shows or whatever and stuff like that and I would just have a good old time um, I would do game shows like card sharks I did, like, basically an impression of Jim Perry. Oh, yeah, that's 100 people. Oh, yeah, I can't even remember how I did it. Welcome. Thank you, you're very kind. There, there it is. Thank you, you're very kind. Welcome to Car Charts. And we have a toss-up question. We asked how many people, we asked 100 people, how many of you smell your toasters? So, George, I think one of the contestants' names was George. How many people do smell their toasters? And then he would say, because he was fat. He was like 300 pounds. And I thought 300 pounds was like super, super fat back then. And now a lot of people are 300 pounds and they're not that, you know, they're not morbidly obese. Uh, I, at this point in time, I am 200 and about 210, well, we'll say 215. Um, I'm not like f fat, but I'm overweight, but I'm lifting weights too. So there, I mean, my muscles are, I'm building muscles. That's what I'm doing. So I can bench 200 and I bench 235 pounds. How much could you bench Scott back then when you're 12? Huh? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, because this is my first one, my first recording doing this, I'm going to go back and listen to it as I drive the rest of the way to to Get Paula. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to stop it early. So hope you enjoyed it and my red thing. And how do I stop it? Where's the stop button? Oh, there it is. Okay.